on. It's been a while since I created a video on uh, taking a few months off, teach myself a decent pipeline to create some outfits for uh, dads. I think I finally got one down. Uh, and this is my latest one. Should be out in Renderosity uh, probably by the end of the week. Uh, and what I wanted to do before I did the time lapse post work video, I just wanted to do a breakdown of the scene really quick. Um, how I created this image using three renders. I couldn't create it all in one render. And I'll explain to you really quickly why. Uh, first of all, <clears throat> I'm running a 980, a GTX 980. And this vehicle right here, the hover bike, which is one of my favorite ones, and I use a lot of promo art. It's, it's very heavy. And my 980 always ends up kicking the render to my CPU. And anybody who has CPU rendering knows that it's an all night, 12 hour event at least. So I'm just gonna break it down video real quick on what I did. And so it makes a lot more sense when you watch the time lapse video, what I'm doing. So we got the character. And don't mind this, this looks weird. Uh, it usually does whenever you use an opacity map for some reason on the viewport. But that's what she has on is an opacity map on the skirt. And you'll see in a second here when I shut it off, you'll be able to see the skirt fully. See? And once you turn on that map, it just, the viewport doesn't seem to work well with it. But there it is, but sure enough, the whole skirt is there. And the reason I'm spinning that now is because later on, once you see this animation, it looks like the hair is poking out through the shirt and it isn't. It's just because the viewport is having trouble rendering the opacity map. Okay, so I have the character. There's a gun here. The gun will not be used in the image. It will float away once I get this animation going. Um, <clears throat> I wanted something dynamic. I wanted something where you can see the D-Force working. And so I decided to give her, uh, have her do a handstand. And so I'm gonna go ahead and play that. And there she goes, it's not Pixar animation, but it would do for the work. I believe I stopped it at frame 60. So I'm gonna go to the camera angle I had. And you can see the hair is poking out through the shirt, but it really isn't, it's like I explained. It's just the viewport is showing it that way. So, here I go, I have her here. And I'm gonna go ahead and unhide the whole scene so you go ahead and see it. Go here, so. I used this bottom layer from one of the hangers from Stonemason. All I needed was the the floor here, the ground, so I pretty much deleted everything else. Uh, I had a box just to lean on. I have the bike, which is absolutely gorgeous. Obviously I didn't create it, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's very heavy on your GPU. Uh, so then I got the big hanger here, just for some background effects. And really quickly, I'll just show you where the lights were. Nothing dramatic. Just a couple point lights. One in the box. Some spotlights to get rid of some of the shadows that were popping out. And I have a little drone here, which um, I add him later. You'll see that. He wasn't part of the original plan. And this is it. And obviously I tried rendering it in one shot. Uh, originally I wasn't gonna do any post work on it. Um, <clears throat> when you render it using depth of field, you know, obviously you get the blurry background, blurry foreground, foreground and it's, uh, it's really hard to start doing some post work when the image is already blurred. So I decided to change all that and render it in layers. So we got the background layer, the hanger part. Uh, we got the bike, 
which you can see I didn't even let the bike finish because it, it kicked it over to my CPU and it was just taking so long and I wasn't worried about the noise on um, because I knew I was going to be able to just blur it out that's the original plan it was just going to be blurred out so I wasn't too worried about none of that you weren't going to notice it once I blur it out so we got that and then we got the front image part of the bike appeared I just erased it out later <clears throat> Um, you'll see during the speed painting is I wanted the lights on the ground obviously because the bike is not in this image you don't have that reflection so I had to go ahead and erase it and kind of tweak it and you'll see that okay I think that's pretty much it so I guess we'll get to the time-lapse thanks <laughs> 